up? It is your girl LPS Susie here and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my most sentimental LPS. I saw LPS Briley do this on her channel and it really inspired me to do the same. I love LPS Briley's videos and I will link her channel down below so that you can go check her out. Without further ado, let's just get started. Starting off with the first LPS that's very sentimental to me is actually the first LPS that I ever got, which is this poodle right here, as you can see. It's not in the best condition, um, and it doesn't stand up because the magnet on it is like broken. So uh, that's fun. I actually found this LPS at a campsite and I had always wanted one and so when I found it I was so happy in fact me and my cousin went back to the campsite bathrooms and washed her and then when we went home we gave her a bath in a doll bathtub and it was just so so amazing I found this poodle on a walk and I found something pink and I was like what is that? Is that like a piece of gum or something? And I walked back and I was like, no, whoa, it's an LPS. And then I ran up to my cousin and showed her and we named her Fashionista and that has been her name ever since. We cleaned her up the best she could. She was covered in dirt. Like, oh boy, she looks a thousand times better than she does when we first found her at the campsite. This next LPS is actually one my cousin had gotten originally, but this one had been a dream LPS for so long, like one of my most wanted. And she had actually gotten this one before Toys R Us closed down, and so she got a whole bunch on sale, and she had gotten this one, and I'd been wanting it, and so I traded it with her, and no regrets no regrets i love this one and i love her little baby and so yeah now now i have her in my collection and she's staying in my collection and my cousin cannot have her back no my cousin is also a collector of lps so we would always trade lps back and forth so you might see a couple of lps in the lps that i show in this video from my cousin or i mentioned my cousin a lot in this video that's because there is a lot of sentimental LPS that involve my cousin. This next one is named Hippity Hoppity. Um, I got this one when I was little from one of my friends at my church who gave it to me because they knew that I really loved bunnies. And it was way before I got Susie's Sheep. And it was actually my first ever mascot. It was actually my first LPS bunny as well. I have so many LPS bunnies now, but this one was my first bunny and it was my first mascot ever. No longer my mascot, of course, but it's just the memories of this one. I have so many and I named it Hippity Hoppity. So <laughs> that's just a cute little story right there. This one I had gotten from a kid at my school when I was doing like they it was an elementary school I was a middle schooler but I would always walk back over to the middle school which was right next door to the elementary school because my mom had walked there and so I would always trade LPS with one of the little girls and I saw that she had this one and I was like oh yeah you could pick the one she want you want and um, she wanted a mouse, and I knew that this one was rare, and it was a Cocker Spaniel, and I was like, oh, do you want any other ones? I will gladly give you any others, and she's just like, no, the only one I want is this mouse, and I was like, okay, and she's just like, I don't like that one anyway, so you can just have it, and I was like, interesting, okay, so then I named it Caramel, um, it was caramel, but my cousin had it for, for some time after we traded it with each other, and she always called it caramel, and so now it's just stuck as caramel. I, I could not unsee caramel for this LPS name. Once again, 
we traded this LPS back and forth like a million different times and now it's just stuck in my collection and she's never getting it back because it's very special to me. And I know she's watching this video, so hello cousin. Mwahaha, you are never getting this LPS back. Dun dun dun. It was mine originally and then we traded it like a million times. Like we I had it in my collection, and then I traded it, and then she traded it, and then I traded it. It was just like a back and forth thing with just this one LPS. This next one is this cat. This one uh, is actually my most expensive LPS. It was over $30. Uh, I know that's insane for this LPS, and at the time, now the person that I bought this from lived in Canada and so I had to pay a whole bunch of fees and shipping and stuff like that and the total came out to be like very expensive and I was like you know what this is my dream LPS I want it it's worth it and then it took like months and months to get here it took the person months to ship it out and I was like okay th this is insane and so when I finally got her I was so happy because I had paid so much money she's really special now she's very pastel and I I love her I used I used her in my Lolita living with a goth video that I made where I did like a cool edit of like the actual video the best trade that I have ever done with one of my friends from my school who had LPS and we would always trade at recess was this cow. She wanted a chow chow for it and I gladly did and I was like you know what here take it I really really want this cow and so I got it and now it is like one of my favorite LPS in my collection. I love the LPS cows so 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 much it's so cute and i'm so happy to have this one in my collection and it's very special because i traded it with one of my friends and it's the mommy and baby cow and i don't have the baby but she's still absolutely adorable hi i'm jeff from jeff tuesday this is jeff He's very special to me. On my old channel, I would do a series called Jeff Tuesday. I have done a couple of Jeff Tuesdays here on this channel. Not that many. Um, I don't know if you want to see this guy back, but if you want that series to come back, let me know. Do you want to see Jeff Tuesday again? And then, of course, you can't forget about his best friend. Because, I mean, the, these two are like the two cats I would make in that series. This one I had thrifted. It came like in a bunch of LPS that I got from the thrift store along with like a building all for like 20 bucks. It was such a great deal. And then this one I had traded with a friend of mine, a different friend. It was actually my cousin's friend Frost. I became friends with them. And so now I have this LPS and now it's really special and these two are best friends. There was a Jeff Wednesday once when he posted on a Wednesday and this guy was fighting being like, you're Jeff, you're supposed to post on Jeff Tuesday, blah, blah, blah. And it was just a lot of fun doing that really old series that Jeff, Jeff Tuesday characters. Literally classics, you, you gotta be. You gotta be an OG fan to know who Jeff is. Gotta be OG. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ne next one. Uh, this next one, my cousin gave to me. She she found it. I had been looking for this LPS everywhere, and I couldn't find it. And she found it, and she bought it for me. And I opened it on my old channel, and. I love this LPS, I now display it with my other ones because I love this one so much. I love the cute little body and I love how he's a little mailman. He came with like a little mailman hat and like a little mailbox and he was absolutely adorable and I'm so glad that I had him. She actually had him and I really wanted him but he was too special to her so she bought me one so that we can both have one in our collection. Next I have these two LPS, 
These two LPS I actually got from a friend of mine last year before she moved. It was her last day and she had brought me some of her LPS and as and now every time I look at these two I think of her. It's an authentic Alice LPS, okay? But yes, I love these two. My friend gave them to me before she moved and it was so nice. Now this next one was actually my first ever dachshund believe it or not i got this one from another friend of mine from school who was a big fan of my other channel my older one before i created this one and it was back in seventh grade when we were in science and we had gotten partners together and we were really happy because we were really great friends and i had gone to her house to do the project and she had some LPS and so we went up to her room to look at the LPS and I was like oh, you have this one oh my goodness that's so cool she's just like oh yeah you can have it and I was like what I was not expecting it at all and she was the sweetest I could can't believe she gave me this one and she was an absolute sweetheart she had so many and i was like oh this one i can't believe you have this one this is what an actual dachshund feels like she's just like yeah you want it you can have it and i'm just like oh so i was so happy after that day this one was my first sloppy eared bunny that i had bought from depop with a couple of other lps and this one was extremely special to me because it's was my first lop-eared bunny and this one had gotten me started on my lop-eared bunny addiction if you guys don't know i'm trying to collect all of the lop-eared bunnies and i have quite a lot of them and i don't have all of them yet this little cutie got me started and i had been hunting for a lop-eared bunny and then i found this one and i was so happy just realized that people must really love giving me LPS because this one was another one that was a gift from someone from my church, a different person from who I mentioned earlier. They had LPS just in their bag at church and I was like, oh my goodness, you have so many. And then, and then she had mentioned that she had a destiny cat and I was like, no way, do you want to trade? And then she's just like, yeah, sure. And so she brought it the next time we went to church and she actually gave it to me. I was like in shock. And it was actually her last day. And I was so sad because we had been such great friends and she had given me an LPS and it was just ah, the great memories, the great memories. So I was in, I think I'd say sixth grade when I got these two. And oh my goodness, her necklace is backwards. This LPS and this LPS I both got from a girl at my church. A different girl at my church. Uh, she was a teenager at the time in high school. And I was just a little sixth grader and I had a huge lps bag in my purse and i was wearing this shopkin dress she comes up to me and was like i love your dress and i was like oh thank you and we we were like friends we were like great friends we would always talk to each other each week and she was like have you ever heard of this pet shop and i'm just like oh yes i have and i pulled this giant bag of lps out of my pants and she's just like oh my goodness i have some old ones if you want some and i was like oh, what oh my goodness and she was like yeah i'll bring you some and one of them was this sheep and this little whale i traded the rest of them this chihuahua that i had that was black oh, i missed that one so much and that's where susie sheep was from and she was like which one's your favorite and i was like definitely the sheep i she did not have glasses on her at the time i went home put glasses on her named her susie sheep and but bam she became my mascot and there was multiple reasons why also another reason why is because god is a shepherd and we are his sheep and because that god gave it to me and because she's absolutely adorable this one's name is howard Hi, I'm Howard. 
He's great. I love Howard. And I love the little starfish. But yes, this is Howard. I got these four for my 16th birthday this year. So these ones were my most recent ones for my birthday that I got. And I really, really love them. And my boyfriend's sister actually gave them to me. We were friends before me and my boyfriend were dating. And she had given me these LPS and I was really excited. And she had given me this one for my birthday. This one. This really cute butterfly and this little ladybug that I'm obsessed with. Probably my favorite out of all of the ones she gave me. But yes. And then like a couple days after my birthday, me and her brother started dating. I got these for my birthday and they made me really happy. I had my party at the park and it was it was really fun i invited a few friends and it was just really nice and i love this bulldog i have three bulldogs and two butterflies two monkeys and one little ladybug this one is one of my most favorite lps because it was my mom's mascot and she passed away and so I, I look at this one and I always think of her and this one is really really special to me and now the Cocker Spaniels have a really special place in my heart because those were her favorite mold of LPS and purple was her favorite color and so I really do treasure this one. Last but certainly not least we have my second mascot moon who is a doggo and i really wanted this one because it was a pastel collie and collies collies and dachshunds are my two favorite main five molds and i was like oh my goodness they make a pastel collie what and i had bought this one from the littlest pet shop stop at the time and i was really happy i have a huge sign on my room i added glasses because if she if she's gonna be my mascot she has to have glasses i mean come on oh, i wear glasses so this is moon my second mascot of course you can't forget about Susie sheep these two little cuties on my channel sometimes i have them together even that's that's all for today's video guys that's my sentimental lps I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to go check out LPS Briley. Her YouTube channel will be down below in the description box. And the video that I got inspired to make this video. And I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for 400 subscribers. That means so much to me. Mwah! Bye. Love you.